Right, I want to explain to you what a vector is. A vector is a size, has a size and a direction, and could be represented as an arrow, because with arrows you can represent directions, and the length of the arrow could represent the size of that vector. So for example, here, that's an arrow, that's an arrow pointing in that direction. So that could be, for example, uh, that could represent force. So I could be, for example, kicking a football in that direction with a force of 20 newtons. That's how you measure force. But then if I wanted to kick the ball in the same direction, exactly the same direction, but double the force, it wouldn't be that, because that is the same size, it'd be double the size. If I hit the ball, the football, twice as much, say 40 newtons in that direction, now that vector, same direction, but double that one. It's double that original one. I'm gonna draw another one. Now that vector there is identical to that vector. Why? It's the same size, same direction. But if I have a vector going, say, in the opposite direction, just call it 20 newtons. I'm not gonna call it minus 20 for now, just keep it simple. Uh, 20 newtons that way, and that one's 20 newtons. They're two different vectors, though they're the same size, but one's going that way, the other one's going the other way. I could even have a vector going like that. Call that 20 newtons. Though the size is the same, they're all the same, look. But this one differs from this one and this one because the direction is different, look. You might think, oh yes, it's the same direction. You might think that one and that one are the same direction. Let me just show you. Right, here, same size, but different direction. That one's going slightly higher up, and this one's going slightly this way. So they're different directions. Same size, same size, different directions, therefore they're not the same vector. The only two vectors that are matching is these two. Just highlight it for you. This one and this one. Same size, same direction. Hence, same vector. Even though they're written in different, they're drawn on different places of the page, that and that are the same. I mean, I could represent this vector with a letter like that. So therefore this one would also be that. But I couldn't represent that one with the letter A because it's not the same vector member, not the same. And just out of interest, that one there, okay, it's the same size as that one, but I can't call it A. What I can call it, because it's going in the opposite direction, same size, is going in the exact opp opposite direction, that way, I could call it minus A. Right. You might be wondering, well, what's this vector called, going to be called? It's not going to be called A, because remember, look, it's the same direction, but it's double the size, so what would you call it? Can't call it A, you'd call it 2A. But if I had this going in the opposite direction, let's say, let's try to draw this. Right. Same, uh, same size, but in the opposite direction. That would be called minus 2a. You might be wondering, well, I've exhausted the use of a, so what would I call this one? It is a di different direction from that one, totally different direction. I could just invent a new letter for that one. I can just call it B. So if I had a 
similar kind of vector. It's a same direction. That one would also be called B because it's the same direction, same size. But if I doubled it, same, same direction, but if I doubled it, double the size, obviously it would be called 2B, like that. Now the symbol for vectors is this here. If I do this properly, it's meant to be like that. That's just to say that that there represents a vector. There is another way to represent vectors. If you see this one here, use this one as an example. You can just ignore the number now. Look at the arrow, it's going that direction. It started at A, that means we start at A, follow the arrow, and we finish at B. We start at A, follow the arrow, we finish at B. So that vector could be written like this as well. So you can write it like this, and you can write it this way as well. What if I've got this same vector, same direction, but double the size? Same direction, but twice as big. So how would you write that? We could write it as 2a, as we've just seen. Or we could write this, represent this as two lots of a to b. Now what if the arrow was going in the opposite direction, double the size, but in exact the opposite direction. Stick a minus there. 